Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here of the Top 5 Seed Series. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at 5 Village Seeds for 1.18.2. Now, we are in the Java Edition version of the game. It may work in Bedrock. The uh, Seed Parity will work. It'll be same uh, generation, but the structures may be different. So it does kind of defeat the purpose of being a village seed. So bedrock, you're kind of kind of out of luck on that one. But anyway, guys, I think that's covered. A Minecraft Java Edition 1.18.2 village seeds. My name's Mini the Gaming. You guys can call me Justin. I don't like wasting your time, and I don't think you like having your time wasted. So let's get into seed number one. Alrighty guys, I'm really happy to say this about scene number one. It was actually found by a viewer of the channel. He goes by Joey1414 over on Discord, and it's epic. He sent me some screenshots and stuff like that, and I was very, very, very impressed. So, uh, just to sum it up, there's four villages right off your spawn point. We are going to take a look at all four, but uh, the stronghold, he, according to him, is actually uh, roughly 18 to 23 blocks away from spawn so it actually makes this seed uh, very optimal for speed runners so let's take take a look at seed uh, or at village number one up here you know villages come in so many shapes and sizes and this one right here actually isn't that bad you know it, it's small but it kind of creeps down you're gonna get food and everything like that and who really cares because there's one right here so <laughs> So it's like there's two villages. It's a mega village right next to each other. Now, uh, again, village, kind of small. Nothing too insane, food and everything like that. But, you know, over here, village number three, eh, it, it, it smaller than those two, but it's a village. Now, for village number four, it has a strong... Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Take a look at what we're looking at right now. Take a look at this village. Do you see something really weird about said village? It has three blacksmiths. You get a blacksmith here. Yeah, that's why I kind of brushed over those pretty quick. You get a blacksmith here. You get a blacksmith here. And you get a blacksmith over here. Which makes this village a freaking powerhouse for loot. And that that's not even taking into consideration there's three more surrounding you. This seed genuinely is epic and I love it. Thank you, Joey, for sending me this seed. This is awesome. I love it. Ready, guys, coming in at seed and number two. We have this really, uh, really snowy seed, and I really, I really like it. So you spawn into this kind of like hidden. Now, one thing I really liked about this seed and why I actually chose it for this video was how hidden the seeds were, or how hidden the villages were. So you spawn into this kind of hidden village. If you're flying over it, you can almost miss it. It's going to give you a garden. It's going to give you a little bit of loot to get going. It's nothing insane. Now, what we're actually going to want to do is fly up because the second village is just over here to there's your spawn there's the second village there's the third one but there's the second village now this one you can almost miss it only has four or i guess five buildings one two three uh, do you technically call that a building okay 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 it has seven buildings we'll go with it but it's a very small kind of useless village i don't even think it has a garden but it does go up this mountain and it does look really cool the way it's nestled in beside this hill now the third village is over beside this kind of really really interesting generation because you have this weird little cut in right you have this really interesting mountain biome with a village tucked in right behind it now this village is probably the biggest one in the seed it has more than you could probably need uh, you're going to get all your loot, you're going to get everything you need. No blacksmith, unfortunately, so I guess I kind of lied. It doesn't have everything you need, but uh, one more thing I wanted to point out was this cute little igloo that's kind of weirdly floating, and what really caught my attention was you can just, you can tell instantly that it has a basement. What, what was your first guess that this seed had a basement in it with the creepy little zombie villagers and stuff like that? So, one more, <laughs> one more thing I did want to point out, if I can find it here quickly, was this really interesting cave entrance. Now, I'm not sure how deep it goes, it doesn't go insanely deep, it does lead into a small little cave, but it's almost a perfect circle, which in Minecraft... That's really rare. That's really, really interesting when it comes to this game generation. Now you do have a swamp next door. It is an interesting seed. I've talked about this one for way too long. Holy cow. <laughs>
Now this seed, ladies and gentlemen, is probably going to be one of the most overpowered seeds in this entire video. You're going to spawn into this little village, right? Now it's going to give you a garden, it's going to give you everything you need to, to go on your journey that I'm going to tell you about right now. Because this journey is quite interesting. If we take a look over here, we're going to have ourselves one of these beautiful, deadly, 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 uh, pillager outpost, but that's not the key features. That's not the two key features that I have for this seed. Uh, what I'm gonna want you to do is actually travel in, I'll even give you a direction, travel north, where you're gonna find village number two, right? Village number two, uh, again, kind of small, Savannah village, nothing crazy, but then you're gonna go a little bit, a little bit further where you're gonna find village number three. So now again, smaller village, but there that's village number three. Well, if we look over here, there's village number four, which is kind of crazy because again, small, but village number four. And then if we look on top of this hill, uh, right to your left after that one, you're going to find village number five. Ladies and gentlemen, this seed has five villages almost right off your spawn point within probably 300 blocks there's five villages and the generation isn't lame not only do you have five villages you have a beautiful little mountain you have a lot of different biomes you have a pillager outpost you have a, a swamp you have everything kind of dark and twisted in this seed with five villages oh there's another pillager outpost look at that so two pillager outposts five villages and whatever this is is <laughs> Yep, you got her. Now, unfortunately, I had to don't, like tone it back a little bit for this seed because wait, do I have game sounds? I don't have game sounds on. Do I just naturally not have them on? There you go. There you go. Game sound. There we go. <laughs> seed number four. I had to tone, tone it down a little bit, but it was because of this. A lot caught my attention in this seed. Uh, things were definitely really interesting in this seed. So you spawn in to this village. Now, let's just get the villages out of the way. This one, definitely bigger than this one. They're both going to give you decent loot. You're going to be able to survive. Everything's going to be fine. Now, let's get into why I picked this seed for this video and why you may not like it, but deal with it it's seed number four a if you look right there there's a tree i thought that was the never mind ignore that tree uh you have this really <laughs> you have this really unique swamp biome that spawned in the middle of the plains which i thought was really cool and how it's dividing out these villages i i don't know i just thought it was really unique you also have this really interesting hole that almost looks like it should have been a mine back in the day and you know it, it collapsed and it was very different but these two villages did have a mine between the two of them now if we do go into the 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 swamp biome here you are gonna find your uh, witch hut right there which which, you know, it's not in the best of spots, but at least it's close to your spawn point. You have Runa's portal, and you have some really interesting generation, a mixture between flat and mountains. You're going to be able to build here if you're on a server. You're going to have decent loot right off the bat, and it's a really interesting spawn point. Multiple biomes, everything's kind of here and really cool. Now, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to let you explore, but... I don't know. Is there a mansion here? Let me know in the comments if you find a, uh, a what is it, a woodland mansion in this in this forest. It's always a possibility. You never know. I didn't I didn't look because I didn't turn that structure on. But go take a look. <laughs> Now, I'm well aware, ladies and gentlemen, that all these seeds have had multiple villages in them, and, and that was kind of like my key point, but this seed I couldn't pass up. This seed had to be involved in this video for its sheer beauty. Let's mine a tree just because we're playing Minecraft. Okay, cool. Now that the tree's out of the way, let's fly up. <laughs> you spawn directly like pretty much inside this village right like you're a couple steps away you're gonna get a decent amount of hay bales there's no garden i don't think so good luck replanting those hay bales but come on come on this is your spawn location imagine building your base right here if you wanted to do a cave base imagine digging into the ground and this is your entrance point or even just the the sheer beautiful view that you get from your spawn point inside your village you know you're standing here talking to jerry the villager and you're looking at this and you're like hey jerry look at this view i know you're used to this view jerry you've been looking at this your whole life but like look at it it's beautiful jerry take it in jerry i'm getting mad i'm actually getting mad at this villager for not enjoying this view what is this clip there's another jerry oh no twins 
<laughs> so me and Jerry, Jerry's had a talk, and we came to the conclusion that you guys should subscribe to the channel. And, and they, they agree with me. They want me to win. Me and my girlfriend have a bet right now, where if we can hit 15,000 subscribers by the end of 2022, I win the bet. I 100% I win the bet. She thinks if we can hit 10, so if we hit 10,000, she wins. But the problem is, if we hit 14,955... I still lose because we didn't hit the 15 mark, but we technically hit the 10 mark. It was a bet that I made and I regret the decision. So me, Jerry, and Jerry think you should hit the subscribe button to help me win the bet. Right, Jerry's? See, he agreed. <laughs> see, see, he agreed. He agreed to it. So hit the subscribe subscribe button. We're so close. We're so close to that uh, 8,000 subscriber mark. So thank you guys so much for viewing, watching, subscribing. Uh, tell your friends, everything like that. You know, I, I had a little more fun in this video. It, hopefully you guys enjoy these seed videos. I, I try to stray away from the, the typical list video and make these videos a little more entertaining, a little more Let's Play like here on YouTube. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And if you guys are still watching, leave the legendary word in the comments, Mango. Anyway, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.